Zelensky. The Russians are destroying everything in Bakhmut. Russian occupation forces are destroying everything that the Ukrainian armed forces might use to secure, reinforce and defend their positions on the Bakhmut front in Donetsk Oblast. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told it in his video address. He has said, I am constantly in touch with our commanders. We are paying special attention to the situation in the east, in Donetsk Oblast, of course. The situation is growing increasingly difficult on the Bakhmut front. Enemy forces are relentlessly destroying anything that can be used to protect our position, to gain a foothold and ensure defense. Our warriors defending the Bakhmut front are real heroes. President Zelensky thanked everyone who is heroically holding the line on the Bakhmut front and on other fronts in Donbas, as well as everyone who is helping Ukraine's defenders and doing everything to ensure that our defenders have as many weapons, long-range weapons, powerful weapons as possible. Zelensky emphasized that modern combat aircraft would help to protect Ukrainian skies. This is precisely why we need the aircraft component of air defense modern combat aircraft so that the entire territory of our country can be protected from Russian terror. Air defense is complete when it is provided, in particular by aircraft, modern aircraft. Our pilots, together with our anti-aircraft fighters and all the soldiers and specialists of our Air Force are doing a great job. But we will be able to fully protect the sky when the aircraft taboo in relations with our partners is removed. Denis Pushilin, the interim head of the Donetsk People's Republic, said that Russian forces have cut off all supplies to the Ukrainian forces in Bakhmut and all roads to the city are under their control. Bakhmut has been encircled. Our forces control the roads leading to the city. The supply of ammunition to the Ukrainian garrison has been disrupted. The rotation and replenishment of manpower has been stopped, he said. Pushilin stressed that the Bakhmut trap would be locked soon. In this time, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen made a surprise visit to Ukraine Monday in which she reaffirmed America's support for the country and announced $1.25 billion in economic aid for things like schools and hospitals. Our funds help pay for emergency personnel, from firefighters who answer the call when missiles strike to medical professionals who treat sick and wounded civilians. Yellen said at a Kiev school that the United States helped rebuild after Russian shelling broke most of the windows and doors last spring. <laughs>